Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people, welcome to B's and C's, Brims and Cigars. It's powered by Gorn Brothers, and this episode is brought to you by Gold and King Cigars. I am your host, Mr. Angelo Diaz. I'm an actor, writer, storyteller, director, producer, that whole jazz. You can see me on TV One's number one show, HL Homicide, Zola, things of that nature. But right now, it's about our future guests. And I'm standing next to a stand-up guy, an actor, a writer, a storyteller, director, community builder, <laughs> an entrepreneur. You know what I mean? He's a man of the people. Welcome to the show, Michael. What's, What's up, man? man? It's good Thank to you, have bro. You, bro. Thank you for the introduction. Good. Come on, man. You know man of the you. people. I like that. <laughs> for real. What's up, y'all? How we doing? For real. And on behalf of Golden Keys, man, we want to present you with this cigar. Appreciate you know what it. Man? Take that home with your chief Appreciate cook. Appreciate it, Gold King. Hey, much What's love. Up? Much What's love. Up? How you feeling, man? How is 2022 treating you so far, bro? I'm amazing, bro. It's, um, you know, we were just talking earlier about how it really feels like you know, this year has been such a jet set, right? You know, you, you, last year felt so good, mm -hmm. and a lot of us accomplished so much coming off of 2020. Mm -hmm. um, but last year felt more of like a, a, a meld of 2020, mm -hmm. right? It was just one long year, right? And we made the last half of it look good. Yes. But the way this year started has been just absolute fire. And um, uh, like we were saying, I would, I would trade four months from last year mm. to match these last three weeks. Right. So it's, it's, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Right. but I know it's the same for you as well. <laughs> you know, we work, it's, it's, it's off to the races. Yeah. It's something special feels about this year. For sure, you know for sure. Mean? Any highlights so far that you care to share with the people? I know you out here working, man. I mean, it's busy yeah. for you, it's busy for you. Um, <laughs> sure, um, one of my favorite projects from last year, uh, was a short film I did um, with Vershawn Cash. She was directing it, nice. um, Wandered Aberration. Um, kind of manifested it to be honest. I really believe in that stuff and Speak I spent it. a year, put it in the universe that I really wanted a, um, a psycho, uh, a split personality, uh, a crazy guy kind of thing. I was tired of the whole stereotypical things I would always get, mm -hmm. right? The Mark Wahlberg type stuff, the, mm -hmm. the street dude, like mm -hmm. that thing, which is cool, I love it. Mm -hmm. But I wanted the challenge. I wanted to, to, to go inside my demons and, and travel around in that dark space a little bit. Um, and play, you know, as actors, we like to play, and yes. when you get caught in the same thing so much, yeah. you're not playing anymore. Yeah. Um, but it, that role came up, and um, you know, a couple days ago, it's now been extended. We're going to be filming next next month, um, and kind of carrying it through. Congrats, congrats. So we'll see, That's we'll see what happens win. with that. Yeah, we'll see what happens That's with that. Um, and then, of course, at the agency mm -hmm. at Miles Models, um, just a lot of things that we've talked about and discussed and had meetings about mm -hmm. for a year, for two years, the last three weeks are all starting to create themselves and, and present themselves. And um, down to today where, where I came straight to um, from set. <laughs> and we appreciate that. Man. Yeah, and you too. You too though, hey, we working. Yeah, um, that's, that's, that's a beautiful time. There's just a lot of good, a lot of good things going on. Yeah, man. a lot man, of good things. For sure, yeah. for sure. Speak about your relationship with Gorn Brothers, man, because you've done some work with them as an sure. influencer, also sure. as a creator. Yeah. You created some campaigns for them, done some photography with them. Explain your relationship with Gorn Brothers and, and what do you think about them as a brand? Oof. Okay. <laughs> Let's um, get into it, man. Let's yeah, get into so, it, you know I mean? <laughs> since we're here. Um, so I honestly never I never wore fedoras or, or any of these kind of hats, right? It wasn't I was never not a hat person, but I never got into this realm, right? Um, one day I was actually out for the clothing brand I used to um, help run. Uh, I was out selling stuff to boutiques rack full of clothes, just running around selling stuff. And um, I made a huge sale and I was like, you know what, I never treat myself. And I was in this random boutique and they had a bunch of these hats. <clears throat> and I was like, you know what, I've always wanted to get one of these, let me just see if it looks good. Snatched it, put it on, and I had to walk out with it. I was like, this is nice, I like the way this feels. So, um, I don't know what brand that was, but it wasn't Gorn. <laughs> and I didn't like, and this is mm. so honest, I didn't like how the band inside of it like it, it, it left marks all over my head and it built up and if I ever sweat in it, it was ruined, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so um, I don't know how, I don't remember how I found like the company, Goran Brothers. I don't remember how I found it, but I got my first hat and then I was brought into um, Matt, Matt Esquire. Mm. Um, do you know Matt? 
familiar. Okay, yeah. Um, he brought me into a campaign mm -hmm. for Goran Brothers uh, with photographer uh, Steve West. Okay. Uh, he does a lot of stuff for Kill Mike. Okay. Um, and we did a really dope, like, catalog style shoot. And obviously, we got some hats from that. And I was just obsessed. I was, I was obsessed. This is like one of my favorite hats. This is from that shoot. Right. Um, yeah, and so it just kind of snowballed from there, you know? Um, I just love the brand, love the product, love the people involved in it. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, there's no reason not to continue to grow. I love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, man, so speaking of going, talk to me about the hat you got on. This the f your very first Goran Brothers hat? This is the first one nice. I, I got at that nice. shoot. Yes, this nice. is the holiday. Right. It's the holiday, yeah. Right. So I always feel good when I'm wearing it because right. it's a holiday. Let's go. That's dope. Dad. What you rocking? This, this is a Tomas Santiago. Okay, I had okay. my eyes on this one for a minute. Bet. I first saw it at the Vegas store and we were over there handling some business. I was like, That's the tropical vibe. Yeah. yeah. Mixed with modern. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with it, man. Bet. All right, man, let's get into it. Sure. Let's get into the meat of the conversation because what they don't know, you know, once they watch this, they'll look you up. If they don't know you, if they haven't seen you on a TV show or a film already, is that you've been doing this for some years. And beyond acting, you're also a storyteller. Yeah. You adamantly believe and create, don't we? Right? So on that being said, let's talk about the industry. Hustle, don't sleep. Amen. Mm. Amen. So let's talk about the industry and how can you speak on the way the acting, film, and TV industry has changed, transformed over the last five years? Dang, I feel like, um, honestly, to summarize mm -hmm. where we're at now as compared to a decade ago, you want to say that um, opportunity right I feel like um, film TV Hollywood that special crazy magical area um, was always so off limits to 99% of population right Facts. but now um, you know films kind of entering the same space that music's found itself at right where um, you know, musical artists were always slaves to the label, right? No control of their career. Mm. We all know the drill, right? Mm. But now it's the opposite. Now it's, I ain't talking to labels. I don't care who's interested. I'm doing my thing. They all love it. I got my YouTube. I got my Instagram. I got my own streaming service. Mm. Joyner Lucas, he got his own platform. Um, and now film, which is gonna terrify, and they already know, the bigger studios, mm. It's the same thing. We got, how many how many streaming platforms do we have? How many do we have that most people don't know exist? Because there's people like you and me that are starting their own streaming platforms and people yes. are subscribing to them yes. for just what they create, yes. right? That was never a thing. <clears throat> so this whole streaming music industry, we're about to have a streaming film industry. Mm -hmm. And so it's only a matter of time and it's you know up to all of us to create and get there to where us independent creators are at the same level, which a lot of us are now, mm -hmm. um, to these massive conglomerate type productions. And it's no shade either way. It's just we all want to create. And sometimes we have an idea of how we want to do it, and we want the people to see it. Mm -hmm. So opportunity is really how I would sum it up. And, and film becoming like the music industry is what I see, mm. inevitably. That's, that's a beautiful way to put it, man. Yeah. Because they've definitely changed the way like for all the talk about you know the soundcloud rapper is this kind of derogatory term on when it comes to roasting on the internet and mm -hmm, stuff like mm -hmm. that but they've really changed the game yeah because labels have to respect how many streams they've been able to do without the machines yep and you're definitely somebody that adamantly believes that the machines have a lot of power there's a necessity for them they have a, they have a place they have a time they have yeah. a function but those machines are nothing without that spark mm -hmm. you know what i mean without mm -hmm. that 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 energy that creativity exactly. that, that god flow yeah and so we as creators got to understand that we have that electricity mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah. so what what inspired you what inspired you to, to get into the storytelling what was your journey like at that at that very beginning young michael right here, you know what i'm saying <laughs> trying, to, trying to work the camera Dang, trying to work the man. pen trying to get in front of the thing you know what i mean for me it was just expression right and i think um that's why I'm drawn to music as well so much is because it's all just the the greatest medium of expressing one's joy or pain or or um, you know uprising or downfall um, there's no better way 
to express it, live through it, and connect with everyone within those emotions, right? Um, I think, just wanna be very real about it, I think growing up, I was always starving for connection, right? So I would always, um, you know, I didn't care who you were. Mm. If you had problems, I'm listening, right? And, and I might not know you, but I'm gonna tell you everything. Right. Even though I probably shouldn't, but it's just, I'm an open book, right? Um, Cause I, we haven't talked about this kind of stuff, but like I've, I moved a lot growing up. I was always the new kid, always, always the new kid. And so what that created, now looking back, obviously I didn't know at the time, but what that created was this, um, this ability to point out good energy, right? Cause I was so used to being threatened. <laughs> In all honesty, right? Okay. That I was, I was. It was easy for me once I got to my adult life to really point out who in the room is for me and who's for just good energy. Period. Right? Not just maybe not just me, but just good intentions. A genuine human overall. Mm -hmm. They start to stick out now, based on all that. And um, you know, it was a, it was always something I could turn to to release and to express and to connect mm -hmm. with with any kind of. Um, situations or, or just anything man it's all about connection for me and I, I like making people feel human and there's only one way to do that and that's to to be you have to be to feel yeah. and most people like to ignore that and just go about their day because they don't know how to be themselves fully because mm -hmm. they got a, a lot of blockage either trauma or toxins within their body mm -hmm. or within their system calcified third eye and things of that nature absolutely you know it's hard for a lot of people to find neutral yeah because yeah. they don't know what neutral is yet. And be proud of that and stand on that with conviction. Yeah. Which as creators, we definitely have to do because when you get what you know, because you've been in the rooms with the corporate machines, you've, you've had opportunities on a regular basis and you've had opportunities. Uh, you know that to win in those settings is to stand on your own two feet with conviction mm -hmm. and say, nah, this is how this should go. Mm -hmm. not and that it, I, and I if that's not how it's going to go, then this isn't. Yeah. the right fit exactly there's a fine line between appreciating the advice they give you the notes that they give yeah, you yeah, yeah. and pulling from that because these are people that are experienced at what they do and there's also understanding that their goal is to monetize right and generate income and revenue right. from what you're doing not necessarily to have the utmost respect for your vision and your art and make sure it comes out two-way street yeah. yes two-way street yes yes yeah well. absolutely well. absolutely what do you see for yourself in the next five years man um next five years i just Kind of the way these last three weeks compared to a whole year, I expect to just keep compounding, right? Um, I like to think that I allow for, you know, my energy and any energy around me to continue to grow and absorb as it's exposed to more things. Um, so I would like to think that, you know, every person and every um, project that I'm involved in only gets to level up from where we're at right now. Sorry. A couple incredible film roles wrapped up and under the belt. Um, I see very specific certain writing credits on certain artist albums that I'm dying to pen. Mm. Um, in five years, absolutely. Um, but above all, I see a, a bigger platform to, you know, brighten a lot of what's so dark Mm. in this world and I don't want to be one of those people that's like oh man times are so crazy the world's nuts right now it's actually one of the best places it's ever been if not the best um, so that's not what I mean when I say that but mm. period from the beginning of time the world's dark not everyone's a good person mm. not every situation is good for you not every not everything is out to make you better a lot of things are out to try to drag you down and so those of us that have a platform, you know, me personally, like that's one of my biggest goals is to provide more opportunity and provide more um, enlightenment and love for as many people as possible. And um, so in five years, I expect to have the kind of platform where that impact is greatly felt. Mm. Because there's always something you can do, but at the end of the day, there's levels to the impact. Mm -hmm. So that's, I don't know if I answered your question. No, nah, you did. I was you thinking did. about too many things, but yeah. You did, you did, yeah. man, for sure. Yeah. So let's close out with this, man. Because as an actor, as a writer, as a music artist, but also as 
COO of Miles Models, which is a huge force to be reckoned with yeah, in absolutely. the modeling talent yeah. agency industry. What piece of advice can you leave the viewers with? As, as fellow creatives, as from any kind of lane or venture? Energy cannot be destroyed. Uh, it can only be transferred. It's one of the phrases I always remind myself of. And what I mean by that is, as long as you control yourself, as long as you control your mood, your vibe, how you enter the room, it does not matter who's in there. It does not matter what their intentions are. You will always outshine them if you are always just you. 100% genuine, unique, you. Bring it in, they're all gonna bring it out with you. Mm. That's it, that's, that's one of my main things, man. That's love, man. For sure. We appreciate you, bro. Tell them where they can find you at on the Instagrams or internet, social media, things like that. Nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all can follow me at A Towns Finest, A T O W N S Finest on Instagram, and uh, that'll lead to anything else you wanna see. For sure. Yeah. Hey man, B's and C's, this is the very first episode. It's been an honor to pop it off with you, man. Always. Much love, bro. We definitely gonna stay in touch. For this sure. is Gorn Brothers Familia right here. Shout out to Atlanta Gorn Brothers location. We're right here in beautiful Pond City Market. Come check them out. They have a lot of beautiful brands for you to choose from. Unfortunately, the Tomas Santiago won't be one of them because it's coming with you. Boy, you hear me? <laughs> hey, appreciate Absolutely, you. Absolutely, man. You're the man. Not Let's the get it. Yes, sir. Do you want some shots? Let's go. Come on, shots. Let's go. To do this. <laughs> What's up? What's up?